Please silence your cell phones. We have a photographer, Mrs. Sproul, who is going to be taking photos, so feel free to relax and enjoy it, and that uh, link will be shared with you next week. When the processional begins, we ask that you all stay standing until the conclusion of the opening prayer. Okay, so they're gonna come in through this side and they'll exit through that side. So get your cameras ready if you wanna do that, but um, that's what the plan is. And we ask that you all remain standing and all remain in your seats following the ceremony so that the students can exit out of here and you can meet your student in the Life Center. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Please be seated. My name is Michael Haas, father of one of tonight's graduates, my son Sam. I'm honored to be here tonight and celebrate Jupiter Christian Schools Class of 2021 and appreciate if you would join me in a short word of prayer. God, you are sovereign here, and we know you are delighted with your children as they walk in the path you set out. Today, we honor the accomplishments of this remarkable senior class, recognizing the gifts you have freely given to these special people. We thank you for the family members, friends, and those teachers who have invested in this group, recognize them as individuals created for you, by you, for a purpose. And we pray that your path for their future is made clear. We pray for your blessing over this ceremony and especially over these seniors. In a year where the world has asked them to do and experience less, we acknowledge you are a God without limits. So today I pray for your abundance, an abundance of joy for the celebrations this weekend, abundance of success for these seniors as they take their next steps, an abundance of endurance for them in their new challenges, and an abundance of exciting and edifying experiences, an abundance of opportunity to share the faith they've developed in partnership with our school. God, please be with us today as we celebrate a group of remarkable young adults. Help us to honor them and you at the same time. We pray these things in the name of our Savior. Amen. Please stand for the Senior Worship Band.
Please be seated. To the senior worship band, thank you for starting us off so beautifully. Good evening. Board of Directors, faculty and staff, welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremony. And of course, welcome parents, grandparents, families, friends, and loved ones. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to partner with you in Christian education for your graduate. Jupiter Christian School is committed to teaching the mind, reaching the heart, and inspiring servant leaders who will impact the world for Jesus Christ. JCS distinctively educates students in a nurturing environment to excel in life and engage the world. This nurturing community is made up of committed faculty and staff like no other. I was new to JCS this year, arriving in the middle of this global pandemic. It threw the whole world into a loop. Schools were no exception. I have spoken to many deeply discouraged peers, school presidents, headmasters, superintendents, who described their year marked by institutional chaos and profound academic loss. Not so at JCS. At JCS, our year was marked by faculty and staff pulling together as a team for the good of each student. Every year at commencement, JCS honors a teacher of the year, someone who went above and beyond to teach, to reach and inspire students beyond the call of duty. This year, it's impossible to choose just one or even just a few outstanding teachers, just because this year, all of our teachers went above and beyond. Day after day, they overcame the masks and the desk shields, the sanitizing routines, contact tracing, quarantining, in person, online. And they did it with professionalism. More importantly, they did it with a love for our children. Sadly, many students all over the world, by the millions, have lost a year of education. They've taken a step backwards. But because of the outstanding work of this year's team of JCS teachers, our students have stepped forward. For this reason, this year, every JCS teacher is being honored as Teacher of the Year, and each one will receive a special gift. As a parent and as the president of JCS, on behalf of all parents from pre-K to 12, please join me in thanking our entire team of outstanding teachers this year. One of our beloved members of the JCS faculty and administration is Mr. Caleb Petrie. Mr. Petrie filled in a void beginning at this year and has served as the upper school principal for par excellence. His expert leadership, personal sacrifice, and unconditional love for the students permeated the upper school and brought the class of 2021 to this place tonight. Mr. Petrie, on behalf of the proud families of the class of 2021, on behalf of the students of the upper school, on behalf of your teachers who you have led, thank you for your exceptional service to JCS. Please join me in robustly thanking Mr. Petrie. tell you what Mr. Petrie tried to do to me before I even came up here. For those of you know him, 
No, he's capable of just about anything. Tonight, I'm also delighted to introduce Mr. Hassan Champion, our new JCS High School principal. With a Master's of Art in Teaching from Bard College, Mr. Champion has 20 years of instructional administrative experience, serving as principal, dean of instructional technology, dean of student life in both public and private schools, including the nearby King's Academy. In addition, he has served in various pastoral roles, including at nearby Family Church. As a former Division I football captain, athletic coach, teacher, pastor, school principal, Mr. Champion has great insight into helping students understand how academics, spiritual formation, and passions converge to fulfill God's purposes in the lives of his students. Mr. Champion has led efforts to establish best practices with a focus on implementation of innovative technology, differentiated instruction, student engagement, and assessment, fostering individualized approaches to learning. At JCS, he will lead the pursuit of excellence in teaching the mind, reaching the heart, and inspiring servant leaders who will impact the world for Jesus Christ. Please join me in giving Mr. Champion a warm JCS welcome. Congratulations are in order in addition to the seniors. I congratulate Mr. Isaiah Petrie, our junior marshal for this year's commencement. Turn around. Isaiah led the, procession, the processional tonight as the junior with the highest GPA his GPA this year was a stunning 4.402. Very well done. It was also 2.2 times more than his father's GPA. <laughs> when we say JCS family around here, it is real. Whether this is your first time attending anything at JCS or you have uh, attended many events and commencements, you have seen that this JCS family is real. And as family, we are glad that you are here. But I want to extend a special congratulations to the families of seniors that have been part of the JCS family since kindergarten and are graduating tonight. We will always cherish these families. Since pre-K-3, the Galuzzo family, and the Canyon family. Since pre-K-4, the Hood family. And the Van Boven family. Since pre-K-5, the Parabon family. and the Mydoc family. <laughs> Class of 2021, I commit to you that Jupiter Christian School will continue to do great things. We are pursuing excellence to God's glory, and we will be a school that you can be proud of to call your alma mater. Today, as you graduate from high school, you will always be part of this family, now as JCS alumni. I encourage you to keep an eye on us. Watch the journey we're on, because just as this school will always be part of your identity, you will always be part of our identity. Wherever your path may lead you, know that your handprints are here. The people you are surrounded by tonight genuinely care for you and will be praying for you in the years to come. With Christ as your hope, we can hardly wait to see and witness and support all that God has in store for you. Here at JCS, you are loved always. Mr. Petrie. Class of 20. 
21, you have endured one of the most challenging 15 months, 15 month periods that any class has been asked to take on in recent years. The education you received was more than what could be gleaned from books, lectures, or labs. You received a real world lesson and examples of how life isn't fair. That nothing is guaranteed, that sometimes you have to roll with the punches, that life is fragile, and that common sense simply isn't common. <laughs> You've experienced toilet paper shortages and gas shortages, along with shortages of civility, shortages of decency, and a shortage of love for our fellow man. As you venture off to become Seminoles, Gators, Hurricanes, Hoosiers, Tigers, Eagles, War Eagles, Owls, Osprey, Seahawks, Knights, Fighting Knights, Yellow Jackets, Crimson Titers, <laughs> Longhorns, Bears, Bulls, Buffalo, Sailfish, Rebels, Mustangs, Huskies, Panthers, Spartans, Antelope, and Anteaters. I am confident that you will maintain the same standard of excellence in your academics as you have at JCS. In fact, I'm going to brag on you a little bit. The class of 2021 served 15,544 hours of community service these past four years. This class had 100% of their members accepted to college or university. Ninety-one percent of this cohort took one or more dual enrollment classes, and 77 percent of them took one or more AP classes. These are the highest classes that they could have taken. The class of 2021 was awarded an estimated $2.9 in scholarship money. You have been a phenomenal academic group. As you select your initial career fields for the coming years, I trust that you will continue to seek to maximize your gifts and talents that you have been blessed with by your Creator. As proud as I am of you for your scholarships that you have earned and the schools you'll be attending and the careers you will be pursuing, my greater hope for you is that you will be honest, humble, noble, righteous, level-headed, pure, and admirable. For the sake of your marriages, I hope you'll be quick to listen and slow to speak. In an era when people seem bent on finding fault in others. My hope is that you will be a peacemaker, a peacekeeper, gentle, kind, encouraging, and selfless. However, my greatest hope is that you know and love the Lord and that you will seek to live a life that is set apart for him. No other pursuit will ever satisfy. I loved hearing of your successes on the field, courts, pools, courses, and dojos. I loved, I loved seeing you being recognized both in school and out of school. I, I loved hearing of your community service. I loved decorating for homecoming with you. I loved dressing up in goofy costumes with you. I enjoyed the look on Dr. Cohen's face when you pulled off your senior prank. I enjoyed our snowball fight, senior field day, senior breakfast, senior lunches, senior beach day, the snowball dance, our senior day at Universal, our prom dance, senior chapel, and senior awards. And I'm glad I got to take part in that with you. What a fun way to end a crazy year. As much as I enjoyed your accolades and as much joy as that brought me, I would experience far greater joy knowing that you became a good father or mother, a good wife or husband, a good neighbor, an incredible civic leader in your community, an active participant in your church, and a world changer who honors Christ by serving others. 
My prayer is that in your life and in your relationships, you seek to build bridges and not walls, that you reach across aisles or divides and not be the one that seeks to dig deeper and deeper rifts. My prayer is that you actively seek to be a part of the solution and not one that endlessly rants about the problem, that you be a person that seeks to pick up others and not someone constantly seeking to put them down, that you strive to lend a helping hand and not be consumed with only helping yourself. My final challenge to you comes from John Wesley. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. Know that your JCS family loves you and that we are praying for you, graduates. At this time, I'd like to welcome a young lady who has been at JCS since K-4 in Mrs. Figueroa's class. She is a member of the National Honor Society, an honor student with a 4.27 GPA, a thespian, and a member of the Student Government Association. This year, she was voted as the class of 2021 senior class president. Please welcome to the podium, Ms. L. Van Boven. Hello everyone, I'm so honored to be able to speak to you all today on behalf of the class of 2021 as your senior class president. As I look into the crowd, I see the faces of classmates who I've spent years growing up alongside of. I see lifelong friends who have impacted my life in ways beyond imaginable. I see parents and family members who have been with us all along and have helped us to become the people that we are today. I see teachers who have dedicated themselves to educating us and teaching us the value and knowledge. But above all, I see God's presence in our lives, guiding us up until this very moment. Every trial and tribulation, success and milestone has led us to where we are today. Memories made on school buses, going to school field trips, mission trips to the Keys, Costa Rica and Dominican Republic, and living through a worldwide pandemic together will be memories that we will keep with us forever. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna miss Mr. Payne telling the class to simmer down, playing quiplash with Miss Boshhammer, and I will definitely miss getting to hear Mr. Field's famous war cry once a year. I have 14 years of memories that I could speak about for hours, but ultimately, I want to thank everybody here for being a part of our growing up. More specifically, I want to express gratitude on behalf of the class of 2021 for the strong foundation of faith Jupiter Christian has worked so diligently on instilling in us throughout the years. I would like to share one of these lessons with you all today, seeing as though I think it is applicable to the current stages of our lives. Leadership and servanthood are typically viewed as contrasting words. However, Jupiter Christian has made me a firm believer in the fact that embodying these two qualities is what will get you the farthest in every aspect of life. Jesus is proof of this very statement. Sent to earth to die for our, sin, our sins, Jesus displayed servanthood, regardless of his position as our creator. Mark 10, 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Understanding the significance of becoming a servant leader is what has pushed me to dedicate myself to student government since the sixth grade. When I joined SGA, I was elated to be a leader for my classmates. I loved being a voice for our grade, but I quickly realized that there was more to leadership than it seemed. Leadership isn't about the leader, it's about the people you are leading. It is about the changes you can make and the lives you can impact while doing so. We were put on this earth to do great things, to spread the word of God. If 14 years at JCS has taught me one thing, it is that the truth in knowing and that God has a plan for every one of us. He had a plan for our first 18 years and he has a plan for the next decades to come. Regardless of how different our paths may look, know that God is our common denominator. Every one of us has the potential to make great strides in life and I'm confident in the fact that the class of 2021 will not disappoint. As we look out onto the next four years, I encourage you to go through life knowing that we have a purpose and that we have the power to make an impact. 
I urge you all to dedicate yourself to embodying the qualities of a servant leader and to recognize the changes you will see in your life and the changes that you will make in others. Class of 2021, I look forward to seeing the great things we will accomplish in the many years to come. Thank you. Next is my pleasure to introduce this year's JCS Class of 2021 Salutatorian, Ms. Kayla Poulin. <laughs> Kayla has a GPA of 4.48. She is the Pathfinder nominee in the category of math. Kayla is multi-talented, exhibiting excellence in academics, athletics, and the fine arts. Kayla has been recognized on the principals list since 2017 and has received the JCS Community Service Award each year for dedicating an abundance of hours to giving back to the community. Kayla has been a member of the National Junior Honor Society, the National Honor Society, and the National Art Honor Society. Kayla has also excelled as an athlete, winning both the Beach Volleyball MVP Award in 2018 and the AAU Volleyball Academic All-American in 2019. She has also served as JCS Volleyball Captain since 2019 and Volleyball Captain for her Travel Volleyball team since 2018. Kayla won the first place Art Award at the Artie Gras Fine Art Festival in 2018. Kayla will be attending the University of South Florida in St. Petersburg, Florida in the fall and will be majoring in health sciences with a plan to pursue pharmacy. Kayla is the daughter of Nicole Lachance and Eric Poulin of Florida and is the granddaughter of Wayne and Roxy Lachance of Jupiter. Good evening, class of 2021. It seems like it was just yesterday we were freshmen looking up to the big seniors towering over us. When our biggest worries were adding fractions and what color braces we were going to get. It is weird to think how we are those big seniors now, about to move on to a whole new and exciting chapter of our lives. For all of us, this was a senior year we least expected, a year where we didn't even know if we were coming back to school or not, a year where we were scared for our lives when we saw Pastor Charlie running around with his clipboard. <laughs> Although this year was far from normal, we are grateful that, for what was given to us from having the opportunity to go to Grad Bash, where we got stuck in the ride and Lana tried jumping out to having a prom where we got to see Mrs. Powell dance her heart out. As a class, we also got to perform our disastrous senior prank, sincere apologies to those who work in maintenance, and participate in Senior Assassin. Although it was just a game, it ultimately brought us closer as a grade and strengthened new and existing friendships. But it was not only this year that we made memories as a grade. From mission trips to retreats, there is so much I could talk about. A trip I will never forget is Washington, D.C. Being Florida kids, we were more than excited that it was snowing while we were there. Although it was beautiful, it quickly led to disaster. Classmates were getting sick left and right, slipping on the ice, and somehow even managed to get their socks wet and had Mrs. Turner carry them around everywhere. After this, we were more than happy to be welcomed home with Florida's humidity. Another wonderful experience was getting the opportunity as freshmen to serve and help those in the Keys after Hurricane Irma. Although we experienced several surprises, like sleeping in the middle of a church with a homeless person right outside the door, we made the most of it. During this trip, we met the sweetest couple and helped them rebuild their home. In between our missions work, though, we found several ice cream trucks, flew giant bubbles with an extremely kind man, and explored several beaches. Personally, my favorite mini-master trip taken all throughout high school was Costa Rica. Having the opportunity to spread the gospel and teach kids in underprivileged schools with no AC was life-changing. It showed me that I needed to be more grateful for what I was given. Some of the memories I will never forget on this trip were the daily bus rides, seeing Jackson throw the pineapple over the cliff, and Johnny having an extremely large issue that caused multiple people to throw up. Although these are just a portion of the memories that we made together as a class, I am grateful that I got to share them with each and every one of you. As we go off into different directions, I encourage you all to make memories like the ones that we've made in high school. I would like to thank everyone who made my experience at Jupiter Christian everything that it was, for making it a second home to me. Thank you to all of the teachers for going the extra mile to teach us, 
even when we didn't want to be taught, and building relationships with us, some of which will last a lifetime. Even though I will never miss the reading checks, mechanics Monday, and classes, classworks given to us, you were all mentors to me and all of the other students. Mrs. Butters and Mrs. Knight, thank you for giving me and all the other girls advice when we needed it most and for preparing us for what lies ahead. Ms. Morawski, thank you for teaching us the importance of seeing life from every perspective. Mrs. Boschhammer, thank you for never making a class dull and for entertaining all of us with your stories. Mr. Payne, thank you for teaching our class how to write countless amounts of FRQs and how to simmer down. I would also like to thank the staff who worked tirelessly to make this year somewhat normal given the circumstances. Without you guys, the senior class would have never been able to experience everything that you planned for us. Most importantly, I would like to thank my grandparents and my mom. Mom, thank you for being my best friend and for reminding me that I'm perfect, exactly the way that I am. Grandpa, if I could take a guess, I would probably say that you're crying right now. But even if I didn't express, express my appreciation in the moment, thank you for pushing me as hard as you did. Grandma, thank you for being there for me when I needed you most and for showing me what love is. I will never be able to thank the three of you enough for raising me into the person that I am today. Lastly, I would like to thank my friends. You guys are like family to me, and I will always remember all of the memories that we made together. From Mrs. Hegenbue's 6B class to senior year, you guys have been right by my side. From the very bottom of my heart, I wish, I wish each and every one of you the very best. At this time, I would like to introduce senior Emma Beers. Emma is graduating with the Fine Arts Student of Distinction. She is Jupiter Christian's Pathfinder Award nominee and semifinalist for music vocal, a member of the National Honor Society, and has served almost 700 high school community service hours. In 2019, she gave a beautiful performance as Ariel in our spring musical, The Little Mermaid Junior. And here now, singing Rise Up by Audra Day, is Miss Emma Beers. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, but you can find the fighter. But I see it in you, so we gonna walk it out and move.
I'll rise unafraid, I'll rise up And I'll do it a thousand times again And we'll rise up, high like the waves We'll rise up, in spite of the ache We'll rise up, and we'll do it a thousand times again For you Thank you, Emma. Mrs. Loud told me to tell you she wants two tickets when you get to Broadway, and not the cheap seats. <laughs> it is my honor to introduce the class of 2021 valedictorian, Mr. David Pirabon. <laughs> David proudly represents Jupiter Christian School as the class valedictorian. Due to his top-ranked GPA of 4.5, he is a Pathfinder nominee in the category of Academic Excellence, which showcases candidates who excel in all areas of academic achievement. David served as the junior marshal, leading last year's seniors into graduation. David has received multiple awards, including JCS Excellence Award recognitions in math, science, Spanish, and community service during his tenure at Jupiter Christian School. David has participated in the National Honor Society and has received the Certificate of High Academic Excellence Award in 2018, 2019, and 2020. David has played at the varsity level in soccer as a midfielder since 2017. His co-curricular activities include being selected as a member of the Student Servant Leadership Team and participating in a Bible study on campus. David served as the founder of two organized groups on campus, the Chess Club and the Egg Incorporated Club gaming interest group. David has consistently served the broader community through international mission work, children's ministry through his church, and volunteering in a soccer camp through JCS. David will be attending the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta, Georgia in the fall and will be majoring in chemical and biomolecular engineering. David is the son of Nelson and Dory Pirabon of Jupiter. Please welcome Mr. David Pirabon. Abuelos, los amo mucho. Gracias por estar aquí. So, being a valedictorian is not only an honor. It is a responsibility on my behalf to represent those who have contributed to the formation of who I am today. Yes, this is not really my own doing. In fact, I would say it's far from it. It doesn't really come close. I stand here today because, as a result, of my community's tenacity. I don't really know where to begin because, well, there is an overwhelming number of individuals who have influenced us all for the better. I mean, we've had inspirational, incredible pastors, principals, presidents, receptionists, secretaries, staff members, or coaches, or teachers throughout our entire high school. And for some of us, it goes all the way back to elementary, you know, those days. I think our teachers really do deserve our appreciation and gratitude a lot because of all their effort and all the time they put into contributing to our understanding and the fundamentals of math, science, history, arts, and language. My teachers, know that you have not been forgotten and that you all have a special place in our hearts. Our coaches and our teachers have helped us grow mentally and also physically. 
but more importantly, spiritually. Though we may not realize this, they have not only added to our knowledge, but our sense of humor, our behavior, our worldviews. As we've grown together, we've learned to laugh with each other. We've learned to respect each other. We've learned from our mistakes, and we did this all as one. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. For there had to be someone, somebody in our lives, to carry us, to protect us, to train us in our youth, in order for us to get to this point in our journey. And who better to exemplify this than our families? We are thankful for our parents, for in my instance, in my case, I had Nelson and Ray, who always taught me to love God with all my heart, with everything I've had. We are descendants of our grandparents and their unconditional love. For some of us, we have our siblings. I was given Danny, my little brother who's pretty cool. He always laughed at my silly jokes even when they didn't land. We have our uncles, our aunts, our cousins to thank because our families had to, in some way, shape, or form, provide insight into our lives and how we go about it. What could we, what could we have ever done without them? We are super thankful for all the hard work they've dedicated to our lives, all the time they spent invested into us. And so we are pr more than proud to be the sons or daughters of our God-given mothers and fathers. Without their mentorship or the mentorship of other people, we would never be here. As your valedictorian, I am the result of each and every single one of you, my classmates. For without the kindness of the class of 2021, without your support, I could have never done it. On top, of all, on top of all the perseverance, the diligence, the discipline in our academics, sports, or music, this was a combined effort, a collective doing together. With Jesus being at the center of everything that we do, we've been able to work together and learn from each other. And for that, I am incredibly grateful. For what I need you all to understand is that every one of you has incredible potential. The amount of personality and vivacity that fills this area contains the energy of a thousand suns. The creativity, athleticism, musical talent, and great character that this class possesses goes to immeasurable lengths. It is exciting to imagine seeing you all impact the world we are about to experience, for they have no idea what's coming their way. They have no idea they are about to be rammed by a wave of people, a people of patience, brilliance, and so much passion with so much to offer at the table. Every individual in this room has a certain trait, a trait that radiates beauty, a beauty that has the power to influence millions and glorify the Lord Almighty in the process. These characteristics are the product of the community our work has put into our lives. And I am so sure of this because I am a witness to it. Sincerely, it has been more than an honor to share these years at Jupiter Christian School with all of you. And so what now? It's a good question. In the same way that grace, benevolence, and love has, be has been bestowed upon us, we must rise and be the same light that this community has been for us. Do not allow the world to change who God wants you and has created you to be. Do not exchange what you have for the world's desires. Do not do that. If we continue to do what is right and follow the path of Christ, we will flourish and we will help others to prosper as well in the process. We must not only look to see what we can do for ourselves, but for what we can do for others. Because it is by this very line of reasoning and focus that we stand here today. As we enter these new college communities, we should look to establish a habit of giving and practice humility, as they've done with us. In fact, that is what the Supreme Creator desires, that because we have been given all these blessings and all these talents, the story is able to carry forth. We have a, we have a duty that while we keep on growing and bouncing off a foundation that our homes have laid for us, we must seek in every possible way to positively impact the lives of everyone we meet, even in the slightest way possible. Because we must demonstrate genuine compassion and genuine concern in order to fulfill the wish that our school has set in place since the very beginning, to be successful, good, caring people. 
So as we move forward in our studies, in our training, or in our work, show the people around you what you got. Don't be afraid to express the greatness that this community has made you guys to be. With Christ, we are unstoppable. We have all the resources and the mentality to progress and conquer. And we do not go to bring destruction. Rather, we come to bring unity and peace. And we can achieve this through what God has set in motion. And it is so thrilling, so thrilling to know that we get to be a part of this invigorating plan. Through God's mercy and the wisdom gener generously lent to us, we should feel more than ready for what is to arrive. Class of 2021, I wish you the absolute greatest possible human experience throughout your entire time here on planet Earth. Thank you, and I love you all. Good afternoon, congratulations seniors. My name is Brian Chick, and I serve as the chairman of the board for Jupiter Christian School. I'm very honored to introduce our 2021 commencement speaker, Mr. Jason Payne. Mr. Payne is the upper school history department head at Jupiter Christian. For nearly two decades, Jason Payne has been shaped by and served in Christian education. Jason shared, when I was a student, Jupiter Christian School was so much more to me than just a school. It was a place where I belonged. It was a family. Now as a teacher and parent, I am so thankful to have returned home. After graduating as Jupiter Christian School's valedictorian in 2009, Jason attended the University of Florida, earning a double major in religion and history. He began his teaching career in 2013 at Morningside Academy before returning to Jupiter Christian and stepping into the role of upper school history department head. As a faculty leader, he has helped model and articulate a biblical worldview about the social, political, and economic intricacies of the world to the next generation. By equipping students with both historical thinking and practical life skills, Jason has inspired and empowered students to succeed in their unique and diverse callings. His passion for historical and religious studies led him to pursue, pursue and earn a master's in theological studies from Liberty University. Jason and his wife, Lauren, have been married for seven years, and together they have three beautiful daughters, Brielle, Tegan, and Remy. The oldest girls currently attend JCS East Campus and are excited to one day be JCS graduates like their dad. Please welcome Mr. Jason Payne. <clears throat> a man walks into a pet store and asks for a dozen bees. The clerk carefully counts 13 bees onto the counter. That's one too many, replies the customer. The clerk replies, oh, that's a freebie. <laughs> now, <laughs> for some of you, that bee pun might have stung. And it bugs you that I started this speech with it. The thing is, you need to know that when a few seniors asked me to do this speech, they informed me that I was obligated to tell Cameron Johnson's famous bee joke and to give a shout out to one of my favorite students, Caroline Dyer. Yeah. I was gonna give a shout out to all my favorite students, but as you guys know, that would take way too long. I sincerely love this graduating class and I'm honored that they asked me to speak tonight. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm an awkward introvert with a speech impediment, 
So I don't know if this was an honor or payback for all of the assignments I've given you guys. <laughs> being as introverted as I am, many people wonder why I love being a teacher. And one of the reasons why is because the only people more awkward than me are teenagers. <laughs> and that is especially true with this graduating class. <laughs> Honestly, the reason I love being a teacher is because these teenagers, these young men and women, they're so optimistic, so resourceful, so faithful and so intelligent. They are problem solvers and leaders. They love each other and are making the world a better place. And that is especially true with this graduating class. Tonight, I'm gonna to keep it brief and just focus on a passage found in Joshua chapter one, verse nine. Joshua 1, 9 reads, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Before I go any further, I gave the senior class these little bees, little freebies, if you will. Seniors, I want you to place them somewhere uh, that will serve as a reminder of the promises God gave you in Joshua chapter one. Plus, it's a great conversation starter. If someone asks why there's a random bee, you can either share the gospel or a great bee joke. Either way, it's a win. In Joshua chapter one, Joshua was graduating in a manner of speaking. The Israelites had spent years wandering the desert and doing the same thing every single day. Relatable, right? They were led by Moses, and they were in the nurturing presence and guidance of the Lord. In Joshua chapter one, Moses had just died, and the Israelites were preparing to cross the Jordan into a completely new environment and a new life. They were excited of the promises and opportunities before them. However, with these changes came uncertainty and new obstacles to their lives and their faith that they didn't have to face previously. As the Israelites crossed over the Jordan, the people and cultures they had tried, often successfully, to lead the Israelites to worship wealth, power, pleasure, and themselves instead of God. In Joshua chapter one, God is telling Joshua and the people of Israel to not be afraid or discouraged as they transition from the known to the unknown, but rather to place God first in their lives and to be strong and courageous in the face of adversity and temptation. As God commands Joshua this, he promises that he would be with them wherever they would go. Likewise, Many of you are excited for the opportunities and promises that lie ahead of you as you commence your life beyond JCS. You guys have so many amazing paths ahead of you. I'm excited to see what God's gonna do with each and every one of you. Likewise, many of you are anxious as you enter into foreign territory where you have to face new obstacles to yourself and to your faith that you haven't faced yet. There are hardships in this life. And there will be those around you who will try to pull you away from God in pursuit of worldly desires. Just as God commanded Joshua to be strong and courageous, JCS graduates, I'm calling you to be strong and courageous. I'm calling you to not do what everyone else will be doing out there, but to put God first in your lives. And yes, I know that it will take tremendous courage and strength to not go with the flow, to go against the culture at times, and to submit yourself before God and to place him first but I also know that you are strong. I know that you guys are courageous. I know that you're not gonna be doing this by yourself. You have each other. You have your families who love you. And you have teachers who love you and will continue to support you long after you graduate JCS. And above all else, you have God's promise that the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. God's not asking you to go at it alone. God promises to be with you and to empower you to be strong and courageous in the face of this world. So do not be discouraged, JCS graduates. Do not be afraid. For as you leave this room tonight, no longer as high schoolers, know that no matter where you go or what you're going through, that the Lord, your God, will be with you. Class of 2021, congratulations. Now go, be strong and courageous. Thank you.
At this time, I would ask the class of 2021 to please stand. Will the faculty also please stand? It is my honor on behalf of the upper school faculty to certify that the class of 2021 meets all necessary requirements and is eligible for graduation from Jupiter Christian School. By authority invested in me by the state of Florida and the board of directors of Jupiter Christian School, it is my honor and privilege to confer upon you your high school diploma. Congratulations. Graduates, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Each student's name will be read by Mrs. Rachel Childers. And as students move across the stage, you will hear their word of thanks read by Mrs. Emily Malone or Mr. Bill Murawski. We are honored that they are here with us tonight to celebrate this class. Without further delay, we will begin with the 2021 valedictorian. David Pierabon, valedictorian. David will be attending the Georgia Institute of Technology, majoring in chemical engineering. David would like to convey, I'm incredibly grateful for the precious family God has generously bestowed upon me. A family who exhibits love, compassion, joy, and passionate giving. I praise God for the amazing, talented friends he has placed in my life, and I cherish the laughs we've shared throughout. Glory to God for the wonderful, intelligent teachers, wise soccer coaches, and all other beautiful individuals that have inspired me to strive for excellence in everything. So I immensely thank each and every single one of you that have enhanced my human experience in the slightest or have in some small way contributed to the development of my character. For without all of you in my world, my story would have taken a different turn. Kayla Poulin, salutatorian. Kayla will be attending the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg to study health sciences and major in pharmacy. Kayla says, I would personally like to thank all of my friends and teammates for being by my side and making me laugh. I will never forget all the memories that I made with all of you guys on the volleyball court. I would also like to thank my mom and grandparents who have believed in me from day one, and most importantly, God, for making me into the person I am today. L. Van Boven, class president. L will be attending Baylor University, double majoring in business and marketing. L expresses it is a bittersweet feeling to leave the school that has been my second home for the past 14 years. I would like to thank my parents and brothers for everything they have done for me. It is impossible to put into words how blessed I am to have you as my family. I am also incredibly thankful for meeting many people who will remain my lifelong friends and have had such a positive impact on my life. Most importantly, I want to thank God for guiding me through my past 18 years, and I know he will continue to do so as I enter this next chapter of my life. Joshua Caleb Ambrosius. Josh is undecided what college he's attending, but he plans to be a youth pastor and general contractor. Josh would like to thank his parents who have helped me become the man that I am today. He also wants to thank all of his teachers who have helped him throughout his high school years because without them, he would not have been able to walk the stage. A special thanks to all his friends who have made some incredible memories with him. Most importantly, he would like to thank his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for all that he has done in his life. Jack Anderson. Jack will be attending Florida State University, majoring in business or political science. Jack says, an enormous thank you to my family, teachers, friends, teammates, coaches, spike ball partners, JCS staff, and everyone in the entire auditorium. I appreciate all of you who believe in me 
and live alongside me as I strive to be more like Christ. William Onspach. William will be attending Auburn University, majoring in pre-med to become a surgeon. Will would like to thank his mom and dad for pushing him to be the person he is today. He says, I am sorry this is so short, but there are no words to describe how much you mean to me. He would also like to thank his teachers and coaches for helping him achieve this as well. Finally, he would like to thank his friends for the good times they had and for the good times that are still yet to come. Avinsky Aristi. Avinsky will be attending Kennesaw State University and major in construction management. Avinsky would like to pursue being a developer and general contractor. He'd like to thank his parents, family, friends, teachers, and everyone who has supported him through his years. Emma Barbie. Emma will be attending the University of North Florida, majoring in nutrition and dietetics. Emma states, over the years, my coaches, teammates, and friends have made for many memorable experiences, which I am grateful to have had. I would like to thank my mom and dad for loving and providing for me no matter what. Lastly, I would like to thank my brother, Ben, for being my best friend and always being there for me. Christopher Barkowskis. Colin will be attending the University of South Florida majoring in finance. Colin would like to thank his parents for pushing him to be his best. He would also like to thank Coach Suds for teaching him some of the most valuable life lessons anyone can receive. Stephen Michael Barr. Stephen will attend Lynn University College of Aeronautics to become a commercial airline pilot. Stephen says, I would like to thank my family, whom I love dearly and will always be grateful for. I would also like to thank my friends and teachers who pushed me to be the very best that I could possibly be. Carly Faith Barton. Carly... Carly will attend Florida Atlantic University to study health sciences and become an occupational therapist. Carly says, first, I would like to thank my parents for being the best supporters and always encouraging me to be the best that I can possibly be. To my big sister, Lily, thank you for always being there for me and always being someone that I can look up to. Thank you to all my family for always cheering me on in volleyball and for always being there when I needed you. I would like to thank Mrs. Carmen for encouraging me to never give up no matter how hard things may seem. Lastly, I would like to thank my friends for encouraging and supporting me through these years of high school. I love you all with all my heart. Carrie Francis Bachman. Carrie will attend the University of Tampa to major in international business and management, pre-law track with a minor in Spanish. Carrie would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her throughout high school. Emma Jordan Beers. Emma will be attending the University of Miami Frost School of Music. She will major in music education and possibly a master's degree in vocal performance. Emma states, I would first like to thank my mom and dad for serving as my Christ-like role models and my little sister Holly for always supporting me no matter the circumstances. I'd also like to thank all three sets of my grandparents, along with my entire extended family, my boyfriend Timmy and his family, for their love and support throughout my entire high school career. I would also like to thank all of my choral directors and my voice teacher, Sonia Santiago, for helping me grow as a musician. Most importantly, I would like to thank God for every single blessing and the strength that he has provided for me, which has helped me become the person I am today. Angel Canyon. Angel will be... Angel will be attending the University of Florida and majoring in mechanical engineering. Angel would like to thank his parents for giving him the materials to succeed and leaving it up to him to make something out of it. 
He also wants to thank Mr. Shaw, Mrs. Arrington, Mrs. Turner, and Mr. Wilson in motivating him to raise his standards and goals. Additionally, he says thank you to Mrs. Boschhammer, Mr. Payne, Mr. Murawski, and Mrs. Malone for encouraging and challenging me to form my own opinions, as well as offering the creative space to do so. Lastly, thank you, Bailu and Tori, for keeping it real and staying with me since day one. Catherine Chick. Kat will be attending An Indiana University Eskenazi School of Art, e Architecture, and Design, where she will major in graphic design. Kat would like to share these words. I would like to thank my family for being my support system, for being the people I can always trust and count on. To my parents, thank you for molding me into the person I am today and pushing me to pursue my passions. To my sisters, Lauren and Emmy, thank you for being my best friends and partners in crime. Lastly, I'd like to acknowledge the memories I've made these past few years, but most importantly, look to the future and thank God for new beginnings. Go Hoosiers. Caleb Andrew Cleveland. Caleb will be attending Indiana University, the Kelly School of Business, and majoring in economics. Caleb would like to thank his mom, dad, Carly, Poppy, and grandma for pushing him to become the man he is today. He says, I will truly miss you guys when I'm at college. I'd also like to thank my teachers and friends who have played a role in my life. I am pumped to start this new adventure. Tori Kotler. Tori will be attending the University of Central Florida, majoring in molecular microbiology with a minor in economics. Tori wants to thank her family for always being supportive of her and pushing her to give her best effort in everything she does, no matter how big or small the task. <laughs> Julia De Silva. Julia will be attending the University of South Florida. Her intended major is health sciences, and she would like to pursue being a children's scoliosis surgeon. After a long journey, it has finally come to an end. The memories and friendships that have been created will be everlasting. The teachers at Jupiter Christian are not only teachers to me, but people I look up to and look forward to talking to every day. I cannot thank my parents enough for everything they have done and sacrificed for me. I will forever be grateful. I would not be where I am today without my family, friends, faculty, and above all, God. I love you all and will miss everyone. Thank you. Jeffrey Jack DeNoyer. Jack will be attending Florida Atlantic University and major in international business or going into the golf industry. Jack wants to thank his family, his teachers, and coaches for being so loving and supportive throughout his years at JCS. He wants to thank them for helping him figure out who he is as a person, help him bring Christ into his life, and helping him prepare himself for the future ahead. Lambert Dave DeNoyer. Dave will be attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in business or in international business. Dave says, I have grown and changed into a new man over those last four years at Jupiter Christian. I want to thank my teachers who have taught me new things through God and have helped me become a faithful follower of Christ. My family who have supported me, encouraged me, and loved me over the last four years. They have all helped me become a better person than I was on that very first day of freshman year. Caroline Dyer. Caroline plans to attend the University of Florida to major in English with a religion and sociology minor. Caroline says, I want to thank my parents for daily affirming and encouraging me while showing me what it means to be a strong believer, true friend, and hardworking student. Thank you to my coach and teachers for calling me up as a leader on the court and in the classroom. Thank you, Cole, for calling me nerd every time I did homework at the dining room table. And finally, thank you to everyone who clogged the hallways and taught me the importance of patience for the last five years. Cassidy Elsperman. 
Cassidy will be attending the University of North Florida, majoring in business. Cassidy would like to thank her parents. She says she wouldn't have accomplished all that she has or have gotten nearly as far without the help of them always being by her side. And she says, thank you for sticking by me and never giving up. Sophia Fizz. Sophia will be attending Lynn University and majoring in psychology. Sophia says, I want to thank my family, friends, and teachers who supported me in my passions. All the positive comments I received in my art have motivated me to keep excelling in what I love to do most. Cameron Flora. Cameron will be attending Florida Atlantic University and majoring in studio and fine arts. Cameron would like to thank her family for always loving and supporting her through everything and to all her friends for helping her make it through these past four years. She knows no matter how far you all go, she'll never forget the memories you've made together. Nicholas Galuzzo. Nick would like to attend Florida Gulf Coast University and major in business. Nick has been at Jupiter Christian since pre-K three with Mrs. Rue. He would like to thank his parents, his brother Domenico, his grandparents, and the entire family for all of their support. Corey Robert Gehring. Corey will attend Florida State University and major in finance. Corey states, I want to thank everyone. That is all. <laughs> Bailu Gooley. Bailu will attend his first semester in London as a part of Florida State University's study abroad program and pursue a degree in economics. Bailu says, I would first love to thank my dear mother who's been by my, on my side through this crazy year. Thank you for teaching me discipline, respect, and most importantly, to always clean my room. Next, I would like to thank my older brothers for the constant encouragement and life lessons. I would also like to thank my coach, Chris Southard, for coaching me for 10 years and pushing me to be a man of God and a servant leader. Amanda Grace Hall. Amanda will be attending Liberty University to pursue a master's degree in English to one day become an English teacher. Amanda expresses, expresses, I would most importantly like to thank my mom for the endless selfless sacrifices and love throughout the years. Thank you to every single teacher that has had me in their class throughout my time at JCS. I will appreciate your influence forever. Thank you to all my closest friends for being dependable, encouraging, and loyal until the end. I cannot wait to see where God leads us all next. Samuel Hass. Sam will be attending Auburn University Honors College and majoring in political science. Sam would like to thank his family for helping him prepare him for what comes next and supporting him and being there for him all these years. He would like to thank his parents for having his interests at heart. He would also like to thank Mr. Morawski for all the advice and help he has offered me over the last five years and for his enormous influence on his life. You're welcome. <laughs> Jalen Hickson. Jalen will be attending Kaiser University, majoring in criminal justice. Jalen's favorite Bible verse is Romans 6.23, which states, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. He would like to thank the faculty and staff at JCS for all that they have done for him. Amanda Hood. Amanda plans to attend Florida Atlantic University and major in marine biology. Amanda would like to thank her parents for supporting her and always encouraging her to pursue her passions. She also wants to thank the many teachers and friends who have helped guide her to becoming a better version of herself. Lastly, she says, I would like to thank my soccer coach, Mr. Loud. Thank you for challenging me to not only be a better player, but a better leader for others. 
Regardless of whether I was at my best or worst, he always pushed me to be better, and I'm grateful for him and making me the person I am today. Audra Renee Hummel. Audra will be attending Florida Atlantic University, majoring in business marketing. Audra states, I would first like to thank my parents for raising me to be a hard worker and teaching me to never give up on my dreams. I would like to thank the rest of my family for their constant support of my goals throughout my life. I would like to thank Mr. Mueller for being the most impactful, encouraging teacher and coach. And lastly, I would like to thank my friends for pushing me to stay determined and always give my best effort. Jackson James Isham. Jackson will attend the University of North Florida, majoring in biological sciences and work in research. Jackson says, thank you to my family who has always supported me and encouraged me to work hard in everything I do. A special thanks to Mrs. Carmen for being a mentor and friend and providing me with knowledge that I will use for years to come. Brooke Ivan Sevick. Brooke will be attending the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Brooke would like to thank everyone who has stood by her side the past few years. This includes family, friends, and teachers. She would like to specifically thank her mother and father for everything they have provided her with in order to succeed in life. She loves you both. Cameron Johnson. Cameron will attend the University of Central Florida and major in computer science. Cameron would like to thank his parents and his friends for keeping him motivated throughout high school. Cassidy Koff. Cassidy will attend Florida State University and major in forensic psychology to pursue her dream career of being a criminal profiler. Cassidy says, thank you to my best friends for always being there for me. Thank you to my parents for shaping me into the person I am and for everything you guys have done. Thank you to all the teachers I have had throughout my years at JCS. And a special thank you to Mrs. Butters for helping me grow in my faith and prepare me for college. Above all else, I want to thank God for always providing for me and guiding me in the right direction. Mantis Chrisavicious. Mantis will attend the University of South Florida and major in criminology. Mantis says, like only he can, this was a long but great journey and I would like to thank some people that have been there for me from the very beginning. First, I would like to thank my mom and dad. Immigrating to another country and leaving a successful life behind is not easy. Regardless of that, they were always there for me. Not once did I feel left out or alone because I knew I could always go to them for anything. They helped me become the man that I am today and I owe it all to them. Second, I would like to thank my teachers and coaches for helping me navigate throughout my high school years and teaching me good character and work ethic. Finally, I would like to thank my friends that have never left my side and went through the highs and the lows with me. Thank you. Max Lysick. Max will be attending Auburn University and majoring in computer science. Max would like to thank his parents for always believing in him and pushing him to be better and to, to all his teachers who have invested their time into him. Sean Shaley Lusaint. Sean, Sean will be attending Tallahassee Community College, then transfer to Florida State University to study pre-law. Sean expresses, I would like to thank God, family, coaches, teachers, and anyone else who helped me through my journey. My years of education has helped me become a noble young man in society. God has allowed me to encounter with some of the most fascinating human beings. I'm closing one chapter of my life and opening another. Letting God lead the way, my journey is in commencing. Luke Masiak. Luke will attend the University of Texas at Austin to major in economics. Luke says, 
I cannot believe I'm officially done with high school. Special thank you to my family for providing me with the resources to place me in a school where I met my lifelong friends, matured, and had a faith-based education. I love being able to walk into school, laugh, and make memories with my buddies. Y'all have made me this experience, made this experience at JCS one that I could not forget. Thank you teachers and all staff members for maximizing my time here. Joshua McAleese. Josh, Joshua attended Florida State University and majored in criminology with a minor in political science. Josh says, as I leave the place I viewed as my second home for the past 12 years, it's impossible to not recognize the people who have changed my life and shaped me to who I am now. I'd like to specifically thank Mrs. Ryan, Mrs. Welch, Mr. and Mrs. Lockwood, Mrs. Turner, and Mrs. Boschhammer for making my time at JCS memorable. Lastly, to my parents, thank you for everything. I can't put into words how grateful I am for all of the resources and opportunities you guys have given me, and I won't let you guys down. Lana McCloskey. <laughs> Lana will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder, majoring in biomedical sciences and bio biological molecular. Lana would like to thank everyone who left her with priceless memories and taught her the lessons she needed to learn. She says, thank you to my parents who loved me every step of the way. Jaden Melillo. Jaden will attend Florida State University and major in business. Jaden says, I would like to start off by thanking my mom and dad for their constant support and love. I don't know what I would do without you in my life. I would also like to thank my brother Ryan for helping me perfect the art of procrastinating work until the night before it's due and still getting it done. Thank you to my amazing friends for being there for me no matter what. And last but not least, I would like to thank every teacher who has guided me throughout my time here at JCS. Your immense care for me and the laughs we've had together will never be forgotten. Francesca Angelina Mirando. Francesca will be attending the University of Florida and majoring in nursing. Francesca would like to say thank you to the teachers for constantly challenging me. Most importantly, thank you, Dad, Mom, Dia, Ricky, Tio, Grandma Gigi, and Papa for constantly supporting me and believing in me. Robert Morris Jr. RJ will attend Florida State University and major in business. RJ would like to thank everyone who has helped him these last three years. He wants to especially thank both of his parents and Coach Mully for all they have done for him. Riley Mydock. Riley, Riley will attend Palm Beach Atlantic University and major in business. Riley expresses, I would like to thank my parents and brothers for always pushing me to do my best and making me stronger. Thank you to all my friends and classmates for leaving me with the best memories at JCS. And the greatest thanks to God for always giving me the energy to finish my homework at 11.59 p.m. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Newcomb. Sarah will be attending the University of Mississippi. Sarah would like to thank her family, friends, faculty, and God for helping her get through high school and have such a great experience. Cody Adele Nichols. Cody will attend Liberty University and major in business and communications. Cody states, I would like to thank my family and friends who have been supporting me through everything. Specifically, I would like to thank my friends in and outside of school who have been there for me all these years. I would like to thank my brother who never fails to make me laugh or drive me crazy. And I would like to thank my parents who have worked so hard to provide me with the life I have and who have shown to me what it looks like to live a life in pursuit of Christ. Yeah. 
Ryan Eric Peterson. Ryan will be attending Tallahassee Community College. Ryan says, I would like to thank my family and my brothers for being there for me at a very young age to help guide me. My baseball coaches, Coach Ray and Coach Donahue, my football coaches, Coach Baz, Coach Will, and Coach B for helping me through some tough times in my life, making me love football and believing, me, believing in me to play a completely new position on the field. Finally, I would like to thank my girlfriend Dee and her family for being amazing, fun, and loving people and for being there and supporting me in my final year of high school. Thank you so much for everything. Preston Flieger. <laughs> Preston is proudly attending Southern Methodist University to major in economics with a minor in energy management. Preston would like to thank his mother who teaches him to love and respect everyone. He would like to thank his father who is the man he looks up to most. Lastly, he would like to thank his grandmother, Nimi, who has been and always will be there for him in his times of need. Connor Pollock. Connor will be spending his first semester abroad in London, then going to Boston in the spring, where he will be majoring in business administration and cybersecurity at Northeastern University. Connor would like to thank his parents, his brother Brendan, and his grandparents for supporting him in all of his endeavors. He would also like to thank Mr. Shaw and Aunt Kippy for pushing him to be the best student he can be. Nora Celeste Pro. Nora will attend Auburn University Honors College and major in neuroscience. Nora would like to express the following. I would like to thank all of the people who I call pals that I've grown close to at JCS and my volleyball coaches, Sarah and Allie and Stephanie for always pushing me to go the extra mile and allowing me to take on leadership roles on my teams. Thank you to all my teachers who have always been there, especially Mrs. Childers and Mr. Payne for helping me adjust junior year. Thank you to my mom, who has been my greatest teacher, and dad, my number one fan, for raising me to love Jesus and for all the sacrifices you guys have made for me. And last, but of course not least, I thank God for allowing me to have all these amazing people in my life, for reminding me that I am so loved and that I have a purpose and specific calling that he has placed on my life. Coral Celeste Quillen. Coral will attend the University of Mississippi. Coral would like to thank her parents for always supporting her throughout all the ups and downs of high school. She would also like to thank all her teachers for always being supportive and never giving up on her. Brandon Racy. Brandon will attend Palm Beach State College. Brandon would like to thank all those people that stuck with him through high school. He would like to thank his dad for pushing him, even when there was no reason to. <laughs> Olivia Grace Reagan. Olivia will be attending the University of Central Florida Burnett All Honors College to major in entertainment business. Olivia says, I would like to thank my parents and brother for always encouraging me to strive to do my best in everything, and my friends for getting me through the last four years and always making me laugh. Thank you to my teachers for showing me the value of hard work, and to my music directors, Mrs. Hoffman and Mr. Mueller, for mentoring me to pursue my passions. Brayton Andrew Russell. Brayton will be attending the University of Miami Frost School of Music, majoring in music engineering technology. Brayton would like to pursue a career as a music producer, composer, singer-songwriter, performer, and sound engineer. He states, I appreciate all the support that everyone has given me. The good times and the bad times helped me develop into the person I am today. To everyone who may have doubts, I hope to prove you wrong. My album, Flawed Humanity, comes out June 2nd. Caleb Southard. Ca Caleb will attend Palm Beach Atlantic University and major in finance. 
Caleb would like to thank his family, teachers, and coaches in his life for being great mentors and supporters in his life. Also for pushing him to be the man he is today. Isabella Teresa Tibbs. Isabella will attend Palm Beach Atlantic University Honors Program where she will seek a master's degree in nursing. Isabella expresses, I would like to thank my mom who always believed in me and always pushed me to be my best and my dad for never giving up on me and always telling me that I could do anything I put my mind to. I would also like to thank my siblings, Brandon, Juliana, Gabriella, and Tessa Grace. I aspire to be a good example for all of you, so thank you for always looking up to me and believing that I can do anything. Lastly, I would like to thank Mima, Papa, Vovo, and Uncle Mark for always supporting me. Miranda Sky Upledger. Miranda, Miranda will attend the University of South Florida and major in psychology. Miranda would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers, especially coaches Allie and Sarah, for getting her through high school. I love you guys. Dale Van Meter. Dale will attend Palm Beach State College. Dale would like to thank his parents, family, and teachers for everything they have done for him. Joey Joseph Bennett Warren. Joey will attend Grand Canyon University, majoring in marketing and advertising. Joey would like to thank his family, his grandparents, his coach, and finally, his friends for getting him through high school. Austin Webb. Austin will attend the University of Central Florida, majoring in pre-medical biology. Austin is the class of 2021 Senior of Distinction, voted by the JCS faculty. He says, I would like to thank my parents for providing me with the tools to become who I am today, and God for lighting the path towards who I will become in the future. Carson Weiner. Carson will attend Florida State University, majoring in business and real estate. Carson states, I would like to thank my family, friends, teachers, and all the coaches that I have met through my four years in high school. I'm thankful to have these people in my life and the support that they have given me. Lauren Grace Wilkinson. Lauren will be attending Auburn University, majoring in business with a minor in dance. Lauren would like to thank her family for their constant love and support, her friends for always sticking by her side, and lastly, her teachers for helping push her to become the best student she could be. Natalia Zinek. Natalia will be attending the University of Central Florida, majoring in film. Natalia says, I would like to thank my friends for always being someone I could rely on, my family for always supporting me and cheering me on, and all of my teachers for ensuring that I got the best education possible. Crystal Yang. Crystal will be attending the University of California, Irvine. Crystal completed her senior year at JCS virtually from her home in China. We missed her in person and we miss her here with us today. She would like to share these words. To my mom and dad, I just want to make sure you know that one of the biggest things I'm feeling right now is gratitude for the loving, supportive parents you are. As I look to all the changes ahead, there's at least one thing that will never change. How lucky I'll always feel to have parents like you. Well, well done, done JCS, JCS graduates. graduates.
If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah And you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need you can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. are supposed to do all oh yeah. To close us in prayer tonight, please welcome Mr. Michael Andy Mydock, who serves as the JCS board member on the Jupiter Christian School Board of Directors and is the dad of now four JCS alumni, Drew, Will, Christian, and Watt Riley. Hi, Jack. Sitting back there with my three sons and my new daughter-in-law and my wife Susie, just the past 13 years reflecting on the, uh, the goodness of God. Mm, sorry, Riley. Um, <laughs> it's emotional. This school loves our kids. Um, if you can't tell that tonight, um, teachers, thank you so much for all you've done over the years. For uh, Mrs. Carmen, Colin Drew on a weekend to tell me passed the AP exam. Um, these teachers are, are amazing. And the love we have here tonight, um, if your kids aren't here, you need to try to get them here. Um, plug for you. Um, let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for this awesome night to celebrate these accomplishments. God, Susie and I are so grateful for the past 13 years. And for JCS, God, how they've helped develop the character 
and the worldview of our four sons. Jesus, God, we're so grateful. God, help these graduates to remember to always keep you first in everything they do. God, when they fall, we pray that they'll get back up quickly and they will keep running towards you. God, help them to remember that you have started a great, great work in them and you will continue that work until the day of your return. We ask this in the powerful, awesome name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Did we get the record? Was that the longest graduation ever? Did we, we get it? Did somebody get the time? All right. As we conclude our ceremony, we ask that everyone remain in their seats until the graduates and faculty have completed the recessional. You may meet your graduates in the Life Center to the west of the sanctuary. Graduates, please stand. Now for the greatest words in all high school graduations. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Jupiter Christian graduating class of 2021. Yeah.